began as a robbery at a high-end handbag store in Yorkville ended up in carnage just a few kilometers away. Coming up on City News, the heart-stopping witness account and why the police are on the hunt for suspects that fled this scene. ceremony filled with British tradition with a modern twist. I'm Melanie Ng in Windsor where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle said, I do. Doug Ford wants to talk about beer on the long weekend, but his liberal opponents aren't swallowing it. Coming up, are voters more interested in suds or scandals? It's a scene that could very well be from an action movie. The carnage at the corner of Jarvis and Wellesley caused after a serious collision between two vehicles. As you can see here, one of the cars was completely flipped over. There were four male occupants in the white vehicle and two in the silver one. Miraculously, no one was injured, but police are now on the lookout for two occupants of the flipped car, a male and a female, who got out. They are now considered suspects in a hit and run and a robbery. I'm Natish Bassano, and this is what's left of the scene here. As you can see, there are still police tape, and there's even bits and pieces of the two vehicles involved. Now, police telling us that this all started almost two kilometers away at a high-end boutique. A woman walked in, uh, claimed that she had a firearm, and uh, robbed the place of some merchandise or some money. Uh, she got into a, a car or a minivan driven by another male, and they fled that scene, um, driving erratically. That same car was seen traveling, I believe it was across Wellesley Street, where it be became involved in a collision with another car at Jarvis. City News confirming.